What's going on? It's me, Sammy Mong, and today we are exploring a world boss area in Albion Online, more specifically Carpet of Bones out in lower black zones. So, world boss areas are not just for the world bosses, they actually have mobs, elite mobs, so to say, which have extra health, extra armor, do extra damage, so they're usually for a group. So, if you want to come here with a group, even when there's not a world boss here, it's it's going to be worthwhile. But unfortunately, I'm on my own, as you can see. And we're currently in one of the side entrances to the giant castle where the world boss is usually kept. But we're going to have to take a look at the sort of outside encampments as well, just before we go in. Because they can hold some pretty cool stuff. Now, something to note or something to mention is that there's usually some guards guarding the bridge. And there's usually a ton of mobs in the encampments. But at the time of this recording, it seems that there was a group around here. But usually, as I said, there's tons of mobs in these encampments. You'll find that these are sort of lower tier, lower health, just generally a lot easier to kill than the mobs inside the castle. So you could come here with a small group. And honestly, if you've got the gear, if you can kite, you could potentially come here solo. And there's some mammoths on the outside. So you can get some tier 7 skin if you're a skinner. But on the inside of the encampments, there are little areas that look like they can get you into the castle. I promise you they can't. There's only three entrances that you can see on the map there. The two side entrances and then the main entrance. We're currently at like the back of the castle inside one of the encampments. But they're pretty simple. Like they're pretty open, there's not too much to them. There's going to be mobs placed around if you come here when it's full up, pretty much. Like, that's all there is to say, really. Like, you can see the vanity tents around. Like, there's plenty of entrances in and out of these encampments, but none of them will lead into the castle. And I actually managed to pick myself up some loot from one of the groups that must have left it here. I don't know, like, if you see a loot bag, I'm constantly looting it. Why they'd leave it on the floor? But it must have come from like a mini boss or something from one of the encampments. But it gained me some money, but apart from that, there's literally not too much to them, like, you can see now, like, I'm just roaming around, there's little areas where you can get cut off, choke points, so if you are getting, like, if you are in a group fame farm, you do get ganked, I would say, head out of the encampment, rather than trying to fight inside of it, but other than that, guys, it's just, the main aspect of the world boss area is inside the castle, but before we do that, let's take a look at one of the elite guards on the outside. So as I said, there's usually guards at these bridges, and these are elite mobs, so they have more health, more armor, and they're just going to do a ton of damage to you. Now, these are soloable with some weapons. Like, I know a curse staff. I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube with people coming to this place with a curse staff and just kiting these mobs because... You don't have to do anything. All you got to do is place some curse spells on and keep running in a circle and it will slowly die and you'll just get a ton of fame from it because it's one mob. I think you get like 1,500, something like that. But just look at it. Like, even with a war bow, I couldn't do it. I tried stacking my poison arrows on him, but there was times where I was just like curving around and he was just smacking me, doing 600 damage. Obviously, I was in cloth armor, so I didn't have much armor or resistance to sort of like stop the damage. But the main aspect, as I said, is the main castle. So the first sort of run into the castle like the main entrance is actually pretty clear you can see there was one pack of mobs there i'm guessing there'll be another pack on the other side but there's actually a group inside here but once you get to the main square it's just mob central like there's things everywhere that are going to just pounce on you and kill you like packs of three usually so you can see you've got a pack of three there got a pack of three to the top left and then once you're in the castle it's sort of split up to the square the main room and then the balcony and there's two ways to the main room with the main room being where the world boss would spawn if you have a look on my mini map of now you can actually see the two chests i'm guessing that's where if you've killed the world boss you can loot what he has like as i said i've never been to a world boss I'm gonna try and get into one over the weekend but once you're in the main square it's it's pretty small and it's pretty big at the same time. So the main square and the main room sort of take up the whole bulk of the castle. And you can see me here trying to sort of ninja my way through the mobs to the back of the castle. Where is the balcony? So the balcony is just, I guess, in another place you can just find mobs, like a secondary entrance. Obviously, if there's a world boss event on, there's going to be multiple groups of people. And I doubt everyone's just going to be friendly with, with each other charge through the center of the main room and try and take the world boss as a group like people are going to be fighting it's open world pvp so multiple entrances is going to be something to look out for so i do die a couple of times actually trying to get to the balcony but once you're through the main square and you get to the back of the balcony there are turn offs from the side entrances that we saw at the start of the video so if you don't want to rush your way through the main entrance you can but pretty much that's it like you need to get onto the balcony to get to the back of the main room or rush through the entrance 
and then there's packs of mobs around the side if you do want to farm up some fame. But guys, if you've got any tips or tricks for world boss events or just fame farming here in general, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. As you can see, there was a big arch group and there was actually another group in just a second down the bottom. I was, I was doubting to myself whether I could hit them with my Warbo Mystic Arrow. <coughs> oh, my throat then, but I don't think I could, like it would probably just like despawn. But coming to the back entrance of the balcony, you can see that it's still mob filled, like there's no way you're gonna be able to sneak in. Like I tried to, and clearly someone else has because someone's loot is on the floor there. And here's me being a fool thinking I could run in and get it, but I just couldn't. Guys, if you've enjoyed the sneak peek into the Carpet of Bones World Boss area, be sure to leave that like down below. Check out my Instagram and my Twitter for more gaming content, and I shall see you in the next video.